Got to make sure nothing's in my teeth before I talk to you guys. What is up guys? I'm Josh Buck on the Big Island of Hawaii here at HPP, Hawaiian Paradise Park. About ready to get in the water and go spear fishing. Met some of the best Spiros on the island here at this free diving course I went to. They're gracious enough to show me some of their waters and where they dive. They know the island extremely well. They know the item best, but most importantly, they're amazing divers that got my back, good brothers, who will make sure that I make it back okay so I can push myself a little bit more, but learn for, from some of the best on the island. But uh, super blessed to be going out here, guys, and I can't wait to get in the water. Check this place out, it's absolutely stunning. It's called Paradise Cliffs, HPP. Beautiful area, beautiful waters. I'm going to enjoy this dive. Hopefully you guys do. I'm gonna go suit it up as well. See you in the water. Oh wow! Yeah, he has a chunk missing, man. Yeah. I didn't even see him. You do. So all you need to do is hide your head, hide behind the rock, so they get real close, pop out. Boom. Yeah, this, these are fun little fish. I just keep missing them, but... We're only like not even halfway. Oh, yeah, really? Halfway. Hey, what's up guys? Back down here at South Point after an awesome day fishing. I got what they call a polani. It's a kind of surgeon fish. I'm gonna fillet it up, beer batter it, make myself some uh, fish burgers. I do it down here in South Point for two different reasons. Number one, my wife is vegan. So out of respect for her, I don't bring the fish up there uh up to our house and secondly I just like the view and everything else down here at South Point it's a not so windy day so as long as this storm doesn't roll in we'll get the whole cook and eat in here if it does I'm gonna flay it and I'm gonna have to cook it up another time so let me get a set up here make sure that you can see awesome so this is what they call the Polani it's a kind of surgeon fish. The reason they call it that is if you look here, it's got these two little blades right here that can do a lot of damage. So when you're catching them or when you're cleaning them, you've gotta be super careful of these. They're, they're razor sharp. As you can see, they're fairly big. They can do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna get my cutting board here real quick. If I remembered it. All right. So that's just all the equipment that comes in our cars. I own a company called Car V that rents these vehicles out to people when they come to the island. I'm not an expert flayer, so uh, I'm sure that people out there do a lot better than me. But you come right here below the fin, you can feel where the, where the meat starts here, and then the guts are down in here. So you try to avoid the guts and just make an incision here, cutting down to where you'll fill the bone. And as soon as you fill the bone there, then you take your blade, and you run it right here along the backbone. Some guys can do the whole thing in one swath. I am not as talented. So I, I uh, usually get a little bit going down here and then I'll come back to the top again and start at the top again. So get myself a couple of uh, runs at it. This is the way that I have to do it so I don't waste any meat because uh, obviously 
I went to the work of going and harvest it. This fish gave its life so that I could eat. So I try to do everything I can to save as much of that meat as possible. This guy's actually kind of a fatty. So you come out here, cut it right off. Cut that little stinger off there. So I don't gash myself on it. Then you can come back from this side. Run yourself right along the belly up into the backbone. I'm sure in the comments you guys can tell me how I can do this better because uh, I'm untrained. I just do the best I can from what I've watched from some of you guys with YouTube videos and different things. So if you've got a better strategy, feel free to let me know. You come right up here to where the guts start and that's where you'll end. If you can not pierce the, the cavity, then you don't have to deal with any of the smells and fluids that come out of the stomach. And I'm struggling here just a little bit because you can see I speared him there. And so uh, it's giving me a little bit more trouble than typical. And I'm going to lose my cutting board. As you can see, I'm no master flayer. Then you run right along the rib bone here. There you've got your one fillet. Then I'll flop him over do the other thing on the other side cut it right here on the other side of that stinger come up here and that's where my spear actually entered on this side where my, ah, that that's actually my blade when I dispatched of him and on this side because I didn't have an entry wound there uh, back in the meat I'm not gonna cut it off I'm just gonna slice like this cut in this direction And then I just cut, find his rib bones, slide right along his rib bones. And that'll take it all the way to the back and I don't have to cut it off to avoid his guts because it'll naturally do it. Now, as I was saying before about everything I do spearfishing from, from the, the cleaning of the fish to the shooting of them, to the diving, I was completely untrained and really don't have any friends that even go. So super excited now that I'm going out with these guys. Um, that, that have been doing this for years so that I can learn how to dive safer and uh, score better fish. I've seen some of you guys leave comments, hey, leave that little guy, go after a bigger one. I hear you and uh, I'm getting better so that I don't have to do that. There are a couple bones in here, but they won't give me my no mind the way I'm gonna cut it. So this is garbage. We'll go give this for fertilizer. I'll put it in my composting. Get my fillet my cutting board back up here now to to go the other direction i start down its tail and i just start here and get the meat going a little bit and then after it's going you can just hold on to the skin and the skin is pretty tough so seems like you can just slide right along the skin leaving it behind and only taking the meat I haven't had a chance to sharpen it yet, so it's not as sharp as it could be. That'll also go into composting. You can see there's not much left on there. We've got a pretty good slab there. That ought to make probably two, uh, two burgers for each filet. I set this over here on the bag. So I'm gonna eat one today. I'll probably turn the rest of it this evening or tomorrow morning into fish fries to have for the next couple of days. I also got a cole. He's a pretty good sized cole. I can show him to you here in a second. So I got a pretty decent sized cole um, that I'll uh, fry up in the next day or two. Like I said before, I don't like to put anything in my freezer. The reason for that, and I had a um, I had this conversation with somebody yesterday, or maybe it was today. The reason I don't like to shoot them and put them in my freezer Yes, it's the same amount of life, but in the ocean, they can still regenerate. They can have babies. They can they can repopulate the oceans. So if I don't shoot them until I'm going to eat them, then they can keep breeding in the ocean, and then I only take them the same day I'm going to eat them. 
So I'm going to slice this right down here, and this this side on my left is going to be that's going to go into uh, fish fries, and then I'm going to cut this slab right here, and I'm going to fry both of these. Ah, I think I'm only going to fry one half of that up. I'm not real hungry, so I'm going to fry these two up here. Yeah, I'll fry both of those. So I'm going to fry those two suckers up right there. They're going to go into uh, my burger. And then the other, we're going to fish fries in the morning. So to make the batter, I'm going to get rinsed off here. Then I'll be right back. All right. So to make the batter, take my bowl. I put in about a cup of flour. Now I'm no, uh, I don't measure. So about a cup of flour in there. And then whatever seasonings you like to add. So I typically like to put in a little bit of garlic powder, about that much, some pepper. A few moments later. A little bit of lemon pepper. Now I throw in some onion powder and some seasoning salt. And then an egg. And I try not to eat any animal products that I don't personally harvest. So I use egg replacer. So with the egg replacer, stir that up a little bit. The egg replacer is basically one tablespoon of this to two tablespoons water. We mix that up just so it's all uniform. And then from here, we add beer. And I'm going to use the island favorite here. I should have had a bottle opener sitting right over here somewhere. You add enough to where it's a thin liquid to where you can still see the fish through it after you dip the fish into it. So it's a substantial amount of beer that you're going to add. I'm making a mess back here. And when you use the egg replacer, you have to let it set up for just a second. So now we're gonna let that set up. And then I'm gonna get another bowl of panko, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get this grill working. I like to use extra virgin olive oil. I don't submerge it. I know it's not supposed to be for frying, but I prefer extra virgin olive oil. So that is just panko. Toss this in the pan. Piece number two. Usually takes about five or seven minutes to fry. In the meantime, cut myself up a tomato. Now here's what I do miss from the mainland. The tomatoes here in Hawaii are not nearly what they're in the mainland, you can see. But it's made up for it. I don't know for everybody, but I love the lettuce here. If you get it, so we'll get that ready. Turn these bad boys over. And you'll see, you just cook them till they're a little golden brown. Some bread. Got my line here. Oops. Wind blew it out. One of the fights down here is we always have wind down here at South Point.
And that's about it. Looks like we're done. Beer battered and fried. Should have done that the other way around. <laughs> and one last thing that you can't forget, the Aloha. The liquid passion, my favorite. So there you have it guys. My recipe or my way of uh, Polani fish burgers. Better than any McDonald's straight out of the ocean, straight into the frying pan. So good. One more thing, guys. If you guys want a sticker, I've had these stickers made for Shaka Therapy to promote my YouTube channel. If you want one, go down in the comments, let me know you want one, say sticker, say you want one, whatever it is, we'll reach out to you, get a mailing address where we can send you one of these stickers uh, to help promote my page. Free of charge to you as a gift from me for leaving a comment. So guys, love being out in the ocean today. Epic day of diving. If you guys wanna see something more, go down in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see more of. If you guys like this stuff, let me know in the comments, give me a thumbs up, show me some love, whatever it is. Other than that, guys, I'm gonna sit and enjoy my sandwich and uh, enjoy the rest of my night. I'm Josh Buck, this is my high life.